Can you imagine reading a book and coming across a single word with a spelling mistake and it affecting the whole of the story that you're trying to understand? It sounds a bit silly, but that highlights the power that our genes have. See, our 25,000 genes make us who we are, but in patients with dyskeratosis congenita, just one of those genes has an error in it, kind of like a spelling mistake, and as a result, they are very ill. See, dyskeratosis congenita, or DC, is a genetic disease, and 86% of patients will develop bone marrow failure and die before they are 40. In about half of patients, the genetic error causing their disease is known about. In the other half, it isn't. And understanding which error has occurred in which gene, making which something go wrong in patient cells, is the aim of my project. Now, some of the genes that we already know about that can have errors in DC encode for proteins important in the protection of DNA itself. See, our DNA is capped by these special structures called telomeres, and telomeres serve to protect the DNA from damage. Similarly to how a shoelace has a little bit of plastic cap in the end, which stops it from fraying and wearing out. Telomeres are added to DNA by an enzyme called telomerase. And the genes which encode for telomerase can have errors in some DC patients. This means their telomerase isn't made properly, telomeres can't be built properly, and the patient's DNA is vulnerable to damage. And when this damage happens, their cells can die. So in order to look for new genes that we don't already know about, that can have errors in DC patients, I have been sequencing through the patient's gene codes. This has allowed me to read through, searching for errors like looking for spelling mistakes. From doing this, I've identified a group of patients who all have errors in the same gene. See, telomerase actually must assemble itself in the main body of the cell, but then it has to attach to a special driver protein, which helps deliver it to the nucleus where it can build telomeres. That builder essentially needs a lift in to work. It's the gene which encodes for that driver protein, which I found errors in, in a group of DC patients. Now this is a really interesting finding, as it, it helps us understand what should be going on in normal healthy cells, but also potentially identifies a new cause of disease in DC patients, where in essence, telomerase is still unable to add telomeres properly, but the real perpetrator may in fact be its driver to work. Thank you.